viewer, I have some very bad news to share. There is no Pakistan-sponsored Derham. As a nation, we've been chasing a ghost for decades, and today it's time we apologize and accept that we are wrong. We have always been wrong because the men who attacked Mumbai on 26-11 were not Pakistanis. The man who bombed the CRPF convoy in Pulwama in 2019 did not receive Pakistani training. The men who ambushed an Indian Air Force truck in Poonch on the weekend and killed a young corporal had nothing to do with Pakistan. The men who set fire to the army's Uri camp in 2016 had no Pakistani link whatsoever. In fact, our special forces who conducted the surgical strikes didn't kill Pakistani terrorists because there were no Pakistani terrorists to begin with. The men who infiltrated India and attacked the Pathan Court base a few months before that also had nothing whatsoever to do with Pakistan. Dawood Ibrahim is not sitting in Pakistan. The lashkar e taiba is a charitable organization. The jaish e Mohammed is an educational NGO. Why have we wasted so much time blaming Pakistan for all these things? We could have spent time doing something much more useful. There is no such thing as Pakistani terror. Today, the nation must bow to two towering Congress netas who, with the sheer ammunition of language, have obliterated Pakistan terror as we know it, viewer. They have achieved and managed to do what India has struggled to achieve for decades. So we must extend our namaskars and thanks to them. A grateful nation thanks both these Congress leaders. Because with their words, Pakistani terror has ceased to exist. Congress leader of the opposition in Maharashtra, Vijay Vadetivar, has handed Pakistan's lashkar e taiba a get-out-of-jail card by declaring that Mumbai hero and ATS chief Hemant Karkare was killed not by terrorist bullets by the infiltrators, but from shots fired by an RSS-linked police officer. Well, he's echoing the totally discredited words of a disgruntled former Mumbai cop in a widely discredited book, Wadetiyar has allowed his eagerness to bash the Sang Parivar to actually issue a clean chit to Pakistan's ISI and the lashkar e taiba the group from which 10 men arrived in Mumbai and killed so many, including Hemant Karkare, a hero, and we must remember him for that. Like so many things that Congress motor mouths say, you'd think that the party would follow the usual drill and say this was Vijay Wadetiyar's personal opinion and that it had nothing to do with the party. But no, this is election because Wadetiyar already has an official wingman in the form of none other than Shashi Tharoor who has added firepower to this Lashkar clean chit by calling for an investigation into just how Hemant Karkare died. Remember, we're in the middle of elections, viewers. So when a neta randomly picks up an issue from the past, like 2611, and then gets backup support, it is to make a political point for this election. Let there be no doubts about that. The action here to point a finger at the RSS, the effect, a clean shit for Ajmal Amir Kasab, the lashkar e taiba and of course, Pakistan. But Vijay Vadetiyar isn't a one-off. If it was a one-off, it could at least perhaps be understood because politicians say all kinds of things during elections and even not during elections. But he follows in the hallowed legacy of Congress stalwarts like Dig Vijay Singh, the patron saint of the entire saffron terror conspiracy, and others who've tried to milk the 2611 terror attack, one of India's worst, as a possible crucible for Hindutva terror. Not because it's borne out by facts, but because even innuendo serves cynical vote bank politics. And then there's the Congress's Charanjit Singh Channi. What to say of this man? A man who became the face of the party's obliteration in Punjab a couple of years ago. A man who was so busy dancing the Bhangra at political events that he shamefully lost both the seats he contested in, in Punjab. Well, after his humiliating defeat in the Punjab polls, he quietly decamped to Canada where he remained incommunicado for months together. But even he... Even Charanjit Singh Channi has the standing and authority viewer today to declare that the terrorist ambush on an Air Force convoy two days ago in Poonch, JNK, far from having a Pakistani connection, 
was actually a BJP stunt to win the elections. Does Vijay Waditya really care who killed Hemant Karkare? Or is this really about brazenly attempting to stir cynical doubt in one aspect of one of the worst Pakistani terror attacks on Indian soil? Does Charanjit Singh Channi really care about who ambushed the Indian Air Force convoy, killing a brave young corporal? Or do such silly details not matter anymore, especially when we're in elections? Every terror attack, big or small, deserves an investigation. Let there be no mistake about that. Of all aspects, of every angle. But I will leave it to you, viewer, to judge if these clean chits to Pakistan spring from a genuine yearning for the truth or to achieve the cheapest political points this election season.